because I literally woke up. I didn't comb my hair. And I am cooking up some breakfast for the kids. They want arepas. My husband made them and I'm, they're gonna have that with some fruit for breakfast. Okay, trying to do this with one hand. Oh my God. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. Yummy, yummy. Nespresso. That's a sweet vanilla pod right there. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning, and I meant to film me making breakfast. I'm so bad at this, so please bear with me. I really wanted to do what I eat in a day type of video. Um, because I am on my journey and trying to lose 20 pounds. So, yeah, um, I will do those shortly, maybe next week. seriously suck at this whole vlogging thing i am sorry this vlog is probably going to be a mess and it's probably going to be mostly me talking and i'm sorry i will try to do better <laughs> this lotion here from eos the vanilla cashmere wear that with the sol Janeiro uh pistachio salted caramel i swear you are going to smell so sweet, so amazing. I love this. Like, it literally is, like, the perfect sweet scent. And it will literally last the whole day. Like, I seriously love it. So, if you are a sweet scent girly like me, then definitely try those two. You can get the lotion at Target for sure. And then any Sephora or Ulta would carry the Sol Janeiro uh, spray. And also, I noticed, I don't know if all Kohl's are like this, but it looks like Kohl's has a partnership with Sephora now. So this is where I got this spray because my Kohl's has a Sephora um, inside it. So yeah, this is where I picked up this bottle and it's amazing. It's a little pricey, I know. I think it was like 38 bucks or something like that. But I think it's so worth it because I think out of all the Sol Janeiro scents, this is one of the very few ones that actually last a really long time. Um, I'll be honest with you, they all smell good. However, their lasting power is just not that great. I think they really need to change up the formula. But if you pair it with that EOS lotion that I was telling you about, I swear you're going to be smelling sweet the whole day. Senor. So I'm here in the car waiting for my little one to stop sleeping. Um, he is really tired and normally this is his nap time. So we're just going to stay in here for like another 20-ish minutes just so he can rest. And then after that, I'm going to take him inside the party. <laughs> Real quick, I know 
I haven't really spoken to you guys in a very long time or made a vlog, but I just wanted to let y'all know that I have been so busy, not just being a stay-at-home mom, but I also got accepted into grad school. I am working on my MSW, which is a master's in social work. I've always wanted to be a social worker. It's always, well, actually, I can't say that I've always wanted to be a social worker. I've actually always wanted to be in a field that can help people, especially vulnerable populations. And I just didn't know where to start. So that's when I started looking into different master's programs because I do have an undergrad in psychology. And I didn't want to be limited to just being a psychologist or just a therapist. And that's when I uh, spoke to someone who was a social worker and she pretty much convinced me that this was the way to go because you can literally do anything with an MSW. And not only that, but I'm realizing that a lot of the skills that you learn, especially in your foundational uh, period of the program, you learn skills that could, that could be transferable to any field that you go into. So for someone like me, who sometimes gets a little bored doing the same things all the time, I love that this degree can really make it flexible for me to do whatever I want pretty much because with an MSW, I can work at a school, I can work at a jail, I can work at a hospital, um, I can work at hospices. I can literally do anything with it. If I wanted to, you know, get into um, policy making, I can do that as well. So yeah, I just love the flexibility and I love that there's so many options that you can do with this degree. So for anybody here that has had a major in psychology or any type of like social science bachelors, um, and if you are having trouble figuring out what to do or what's the next thing to do, I suggest getting your master's in social work. It's, I think it's worth it. Um, I'm super excited to see what the future will hold for me with this degree. And yeah, that's just a little update. That's pretty much it. And I will get back to you later. I don't know if I'm going to film later. I'm going to a birthday party later. So we'll see if I film then or not. Bye.